One Washington Post columnist is wondering why conservatives are worried about the threat presented by the Chinese Communist Party. Without addressing the nation's most controversial policies, Philip Bump questions Republicans' use of the phrase CCP, which is Chinese Communist Party, in American politics, saying it seems to be in vogue at the moment, and asks, how did that happen? Our next guest is the survivor of Mao's revolution in China. Xi Van Fleet is here to explain why the GOP is right to raise the alarm. Xi, always great having you on the show. And I know you have a new book out, and I'll make sure we mention that at the end of this interview. Uh, but, you know, again, they're saying, why be alarmed? You know, China's just another trading partner. It's just another market. Uh, they don't see it, or this columnist doesn't see it as the threat it is. Tell our viewers why you think uh, Republican candidates are yes, right I to read raise the alarm. Yes, I read his article. I was furious. Communism is the biggest evil the world has ever seen. CCP alone has killed more than 80 million Chinese, and it's killing never stop. And now they want their organ as well. And the wokeism is really Maoism with American characteristics, and all its political uh, identity, cancel culture, and attack of uh, the traditional values, and the meritocracy, censorship, all this. I lived through, I'm living through right now. And Fauci, yes, Fauci, he is, but the American version of Mao's so-called red expert who put party line above science and facts and truth. And they call, uh, so, um, they call uh, communism pejorative, but communism um, calls CCP calls America its uh, number one enemy because of people like uh, Mr. Bump. Uh, CCP has been able to infiltrate the American institutions mm. and uh, corporations and buy off our politicians and have its TikTok access our children's mind and buying and owning our farmland. And uh, Mr. Bump calls uh, CCP a pejorative, but CCP calls America its number one enemy. And that's the problem. CCP and communism is the biggest threat to America, bigger than Soviet Union. And how do we protect ourselves when, I mean, obviously we have people like Bomb who, you know, are trying to diminish um, the, uh, the threat. But how do we, you know, our viewers who are listening right now, what is your best advice for how to protect ourselves from becoming like China, what we've called the Chinification of America? I always say, learn history. And that's my mission. My mission is to educate America the uh, danger and horror of communism. And that's why I wrote that book. And the title of the book is not just relevant to today's America, but timely. And it's called Mouse America, A Survivor's Warning. Yeah. Well, you have been warning us for so long, and you provide such a great service in that regard from having lived through it yourself. Um, it is a threat. Um, we are in, in the middle of our own cultural revolution, and we need to wake up. Xi Van Fleet, thank you so yes. much. And thank you for writing that book. I, I have it, and I'm reading it right now. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Of course. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.